everyone, and welcome back to another cozy long play. Today we're going to build an animal pen for our cows so we can get leather for enchanting as well as a better food supply. We have a big adventure ahead of us today, so let's get started. So in between episodes, I figured I'd do a little bit of fishing just to catch some more food. And you know what? I didn't do too bad. I honestly didn't fish for that long, and I got some pretty good stuff out of it. I also caught this enchanted book that has efficiency, fire aspect, and sharpness, which is like pretty good. I'm kind of contemplating putting this on a diamond sword in the future. Now we are running a little bit low on our food supply, so I'm going to start cooking up some of this fish that I caught. The fishing's been okay for us so far. Honestly, it'll do for now. The only problem is I need an enchanted fishing pole. So what I want to work on today is an animal pen for some cows. Now, I know we've got a bit of a food supply going with the fishing hunt. However, what I'm mainly interested in is getting some leather going so we can eventually start enchanting. Because if we want an enchanting table, we're going to have to get a ton of bookshelves. And, well, bookshelves require a ton of books, which also require leather. And it also requires a ton of sugarcane. So that's definitely something that we need to consider gathering up today as well. Which we should probably start doing right now. Now we are on this tiny island and space is pretty limited, which means we don't have an abundance of space to plant this sugar cane. So I'm gonna have to frequently remind myself to keep collecting this stuff throughout this episode. I don't think I can place it on any of the stone, so we're gonna have to start putting some around here. And we'll check back on this later. Now I think the next thing we need to focus on is figuring out where this build is gonna go. So. I've been kind of like looking at the landscape of this island and for the most part I think I want to leave this patch right here for a bigger build, possibly either a storage house or for a bigger house upgrade. As for this spot right here, I still don't know if I want to terraform it or not. It is very square, so I think if anything I would definitely make it look a little bit more organic. And in terms of the enchanting area, that's going to be a little bit more of a fantasy style build probably because enchanting, magic, all of that stuff. I was kind of picturing placing it amongst the trees here. Now, for the animal pen that we're gonna be building today though, I was kind of like, I feel as though this spot could be kind of cool. The animal pen itself isn't gonna be too big. I'm not gonna do like a huge barn or anything, especially because I don't think I'm gonna bother bringing sheep or pigs over. I don't think we really need them. However, I would like to get a small little wheat field going so we can properly feed the cows. I was kind of thinking maybe if we turn some of this into dirt instead and then build an animal pen like around here, then surrounded by some wheat fields, that could look really cool and give a nice pop of color to this side of the island. Plus, we could have like a nice little cute path going over to the enchanted house and this could be like a little forested area. So that's kind of the idea I have in mind for today. Now I just need to sleep really quickly. Also, I did put everything away. Um, <laughs> it might not be the best organization because we have very limited chests. So storage is another thing that we're going to have to consider on this island as well. Especially because we're going to be here a little while. We still got a couple builds to go. Now, if we want to get this animal pen started today, I feel as though I need to kind of do a couple of things first. I think we've got to start things off by replacing all of this sand with dirt so we have a good footprint to work with. Then after that we can worry about bringing the cows over and of course building up the build. Whoop! Forgot I was using a stone shovel so I'm gonna have to go make a new one because that's gonna be a lot of terraforming for today. All right, let's get some more tools made. So let's make ourselves a couple shovels. Probably gonna honestly need like two or three. That's okay though, because we got a lot of iron the other day. All right, I'm also gonna see if we have any dirt. Yes, we do. We can use that to terraform a little bit. And I think we're good to go. We're gonna have to do like a nice little path that winds all the way from here over to the animal pen today. That'll look so cool. So this uh, 
little terraforming project might take some time, but that's okay. We've got lots of time today, of course. We've got all the time. And I think it's gonna look really good in the end. I really do love the sandy beach. However, I just think it would be a little bit more practical to have this filled with wheat and grass and all that stuff. When you have limited space like this, you kinda gotta make some practical choices as well. All right, let's start filling some of this in with dirt while we're at it. I'm just gonna do a rough outline for the area in which I'd like the build to go. Let's maybe start circling it back this way. Probably something like this. I would like to have a layer below. This will probably end up being wheat field all the way to the edge of the water. But I just wanna lay out a little bit of a, an idea of how much space we're gonna have for the top portion. This might also mean that we don't actually have to terraform as much sand away as I thought. Because we're kind of just putting dirt over top of it. Oh, that's all we got. So how's that looking? I feel like that's a pretty good space. So I'm kind of picturing maybe the animal pen. Oh, it's raining. I'm kind of picturing the animal pen to go like in this spot. And then surrounded by it, we could do like a blot of wheat fields here and like a little bit here, all the way to the edge of the water. So I think that's pretty good. Now, what I'm gonna need actually is, I am gonna need more dirt. Obviously we're uh, very limited on the dirt over here, like the resource on the island. So I feel like maybe what we should do is, we should go collect some over there. And while we're at it, I'm gonna bring a boat, like I'm not gonna go with Roger. And while we're at it, if we see a cow, we can kind of probably get it into the boat. Although we might need, ooh, we might need some wheat in order to be able to do that. And I do have some seeds somewhere. Perfect, we got a couple. And what I should do is I should make a iron hoe. Oh, we got thunder and lightning. I'm gonna sleep through that because that ain't worth it. I don't want mobs to spawn. No way. Scary. Go away. Also, I left the shader clouds on because I thought they looked really nice. So, that's something. Wait, wait, wait. Do I have bone meal? <gasps> yes. Okay, I do. Perfect. We're going to have to bone meal some of this wheat before we go. And you know what? We can get a little bit. Oh my gosh. I hope that doesn't mean there's creepers around here. I'm just going to take a quick little look around the area, just in case. Oh, there's one right there. Where I was working to, and close to Roger, sir. We can't be doing this. We simply cannot be doing this. If you hurt my boy Roger, I don't think I could live with myself. Get over here. For Roger! There we go. Nice, okay. Uh, I think it's safe around here, I don't know. I don't trust anybody or anything on this island. Except you, Roger. All right, I think our boy's safe. So I'm gonna just plant a couple seeds here cause I kind of mentioned that a little bit of this area could be turned into a wheat field. So we might as well get a little start over here since we know that it'll stay. I think we only have eight seeds anyway. And then I'm gonna bone meal one of them. Maybe two. Probably two wheat is good enough. That gave us a couple more seeds we could plant. Now I'm just gonna toss some of this stuff away, probably in here. Oh, we have even more seeds, look at that. 
little hidden treasures. We love to see it. Well, that's a start. That's not bad at all. Look at that. All right, I'm just going to grab a bed really quickly in case this takes a little bit longer than I imagined. And then we'll head off to find our cows and grab a little bit more dirt. Yoink. All right, let's grab some of this food, too. We got a little supply, and I think we're ready to head out. So I'm going to take this little boat, of course. And I think we're just going to go this way. I think I saw some cows the other day while I was going to that cave over there. So we shouldn't have any trouble finding any. Oh, there's one right there. Oh, this is perfect. <gasps> Two, I think. Let's see. No, that might just be one. That's okay. This is a good start. Look at that. Let's go. Honestly, I'm like, if we grab this cow, can I just like let it free roam on the island? Because it doesn't really have anywhere to go, right? Maybe we can. I think I might risk it. I don't know. Why not, right? There we go. Just bring him over here. And I think you're good to go, pal. I'm just going to leave you here for now. You can roam around, check things out. See uh, if there's anything that you need in the fishing hut or in the lighthouse. Feel free to, to use it. All right, let's go find cow number two. I'm just going to go along the river bend here. Oh, there we go. So easy. Oh, my gosh. Why didn't I do this sooner? The whole time I was thinking, I was like, that'll be too much work. Literally took 30 seconds. Sometimes that's my brain while playing Minecraft, though, where I'm like, oh, I think something's too much work. And then I kind of avoid doing it. And then finally, when I cave and complete the task, I'm like, oh, that literally saved me so much time. All right, cow number two. You are the new resident on the island. Roger uh, will be your guide if you need anything. Just holler at him and I'm going to lure you with some wheat. And I think you're all set and ready to go. So you enjoy and I'm going to head over there to collect some dirt. Guess we can just pretty much go anywhere for this, to be honest. Maybe while we're here, we can grab some spruce as well, since we always need some. Uh, I'm just going to start digging away at some of this stuff. How much do we have? We have about three and a bit stacks. Maybe just a little bit more until the shovel breaks and then we're good to go. I'm gonna grab some of this gravel too, actually. It's always handy to have. And our shovel is all broken. So I think we're pretty much good with about four stacks. I mean, if we need any more, we can come back really quickly, but I think, I think that'll be good. We don't have that much more to fill in. We're back home because that's very, very close to us. <laughs> Perfect. So all we really need to do is fill in some more of this part and kind of terraform some of the stuff underneath here and then we should be good to go.
All right, the sun's about to set. I have a little bit more sand to replace, but it's looking pretty good so far. I might have to go get a little bit more dirt. We'll see. It always takes up a lot more than I realize, but that's okay. We got like a pretty good chunk done so far. Let's just head to bed really quickly. Oh, wait. <laughs> my bed's in my inventory. That's okay. It's always good to put the beds back, though. Otherwise, you just end up with a bunch all over the base. And that's not fun, either. All right, let's... I'm gonna cook some of this up, too. I know it's just one. Can you cook tropical fish? I don't know if you can. No, you can't. I know you can eat it, but you can't cook it. All righty. Let's finish off this terraforming and then we can kind of begin building things up. Just have a little bit more left to fill in, but I might have to go get some more dirt. So we'll see. Classic. Okay, we need just a little bit more. Oh wait, I have 47. Let's just use this up. Even though it's probably it's probably not enough. Let's use it up anyway, and then we'll go get more. Oh, while we're at it, let's see if the sugar cane is grown, because we need to keep uh harvesting that as well. So I feel like this episode today is kind of less about... Oh, no, we only got one. Anyway, sorry, I just completely cut myself off. But I feel like this episode today is kind of less about the build. I mean, we're still obviously going to do a build. It's probably not going to be too big because this is such a small space. It's kind of going to be more about, like, regular base maintenance, which I kind of like. I really love doing small little projects like this, just improving the quality of life around the base. And also, I find that small builds go such a long way. They really help add, like, life and atmosphere um, to an area. So I'm really excited to get this one up today. We have so much sand now. Oh my gosh. So much. I don't even want to, like, collect all of this stuff because I don't know what to do with it. I'm just going to stash it away for now, one of these barrels, and I'm going to go get a little bit more dirt. However, okay, I have one more shovel left. We have quite a bit of shoveling to do, though. I think I should go make one more. And let me grab this bed really quickly. Toss that in there for now. Just in case it's nighttime, because I think the sun's going to be setting soon. All right, let's head over to that spot one more time, grab a little bit more dirt, and then we should be good to go. Just want to take a quick little look. Yeah, I think that's looking a lot better. Eventually as well, I'd like to maybe uh, transform some of this into dirt too, dirt and grass, just because you can kind of see like a really harsh cutoff line right here. I think maybe making this a little bit more organic probably pulling the dirt around over here and maybe like up on this level as well. I think that'll make it look a little bit nicer, but we don't necessarily have to worry about that today because we're focusing on like the edge of the island. All right, let's park the boat here and grab just a little bit more dirt. You know what? While we're here... Do I have shears? I'm not sure I do. Probably doing my inventory. I just literally cannot see them, but there's a sheep here. I'm going to shear you. These guys are pretty close to us, so it's easy just to pop over if we ever need any more wool. Oh, look at that. More sheep. Well, don't mind if I do. Thank you. And thank you. I appreciate it. Oh, 
Hello. Well, I guess I'm gonna shear you again because why not? I'm just gonna like dig around this sheep. Oh. Oh wait, that's another one. Yeah, you can stay there, buddy. All right, how are we looking for dirt? We've got three stacks. I don't trust it because I just feel like we might need a little bit more. So I'm gonna spend some more time gathering this up and then we should be good to go. All right, I think that's good. That should get us to where we need to be. I think we can head home now. <gasps> Ooh, there's a little bit of sugar cane here actually. Let me grab that too. Might as well grab some here and then we can replant it at home more easily. And we're good to go. Saw some over here too. Perfect. Yoink. I think that's about it for now. Let's head home. Oops. I was just gonna walk off the boat, huh? Oh, our island. I mean, there's just two builds so far, but it's already looking so cool. I'm excited to get a little build up on the corner here today. It's gonna look fantastic. All right, let's finish this off and then we should be good. So I grabbed a lot more dirt than I probably needed. However, like I said before, I'm going to want to start terraforming that area eventually. Maybe not today. So at least we'll have this dirt in our inventory ready to go. I think if anything, we'll go to like about... Let's see. Here. Yeah, maybe something like that for now. Oh, I need to go to bed, but we have our bed right here, which is perfect. Let me just toss it in this corner so it's not in our way. Then we're good to go. All right, let's just fill in this last bit and we are ready to go. Perfect. That's all done. Oh, wait, no, we need to connect this too. Whoops. Let's take a look to see if that made any difference. It's looking like more organic for sure. I might still fix up some of these eventually, but I think that's a lot better than what it was before. Okay, perfect. Oh, before I forget, let's plant some of the sugar cane around here too. So we get a little bit more growing. Oops. Wait, you can plant it in water? Huh? I didn't even know that. Let me take a look. What is this? <gasps> Will it grow? I mean, I guess we'll just have to wait to find out, but I literally did not know you could plant it like submerged. Huh. Interesting. Okay, so I think we're ready to begin building our build. Um... All of this stuff will eventually turn to grass. I mean, I hope. Sometimes it just takes a long time. I mean, this stuff already has, so we're good to go. Ideally, I do want like a bunch of trees and stuff uh, within this build today. However, some of them might just get in the way for now in the spot where I want to build. I'm going to chop down maybe this one at least. And then we'll replant some afterwards. I want this to look slightly foresty. So right now we've got a pretty big open space, which is all right um while we're working but i think by the end of this i definitely like to fill it in a little bit more now once all these trees go away actually maybe i should shear a couple of these too <gasps> where are the shears there they are see i can never see them in my inventory i don't know why it's so weird it's always the shears too you know what let's get rid of this tree too just in case i think the two behind this are fine they're on the lower level, but this will just allow us to kind of work with the area we have a bit more. So, 
Let's uh, get some of this stuff put away, clear our inventory, and then I think it's time to pick out some blocks for our pallet. All right, what's going where? Let's just get this stuff put away in this little like stone section. Uh, plants, all that stuff, sand, why not? Dirt, there we go, perfect. Wool can go in here. Got quite a bit of wool actually. And finally, let's grab some spruce just in case and maybe some oak, barrels, chests. And what else would I like to build with today? So of course our palette is, uh, it involves like a lot of stones, spruce, deep slate, some oak. Um, we've kind of been rotating some stuff in and out. Like in this one, we put in some copper and diorite while still maintaining the spruce and deep slate. Um, and maybe today what we could do is, since we already have a build with like diorite and the copper, I'm kind of like picturing maybe something uh, with granite. Granite always looks really nice with spruce and deep slate. Um, you can kind of see a little bit right here. That's a little bit of an example, even though it's just a chimney. So if we kind of go for something very similar in vibe to this, but mix up the color palette a little bit more, it'll probably look completely different. That's kind of what I'm envisioning for today. So I think we're good with those blocks. Now let's go over here and maybe get a little spot where we can drop some stuff. Actually, I'll leave this out because I want to look at the palette. Alrighty, let's figure out this palette. So we've got some spruce, we got some granite, oak, and of course we're going to need some deep slate too. Let me go grab some quickly. Deep slate. In here? Nope. Must be in here. Yeah, perfect. While we're here, let's grab the stone cutter as well. And we can figure out what we're going to do. So like I said, this build's probably going to have to be pretty small. Uh, we have a pretty small amount of room to make this work, but that's okay. This is pretty much an in-between build. Um, I'd honestly like it even smaller than the fishing dock if possible. So the fishing dock is one, two, three, four, five, I think by nine. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. No, it's seven. Oh, I didn't even realize I made it five by seven. Plus it has that little attachment though. Um, but I'm kind of thinking like a classic little five by seven would be good. So let's toss down our deep slate, spruce, granite, oak. Of course, we're going to strip the wood. And I think that's a really good classic combo. I mean, I've used this in so many builds before. It is, it's pretty much foolproof. And also it has a very medieval vibe to it. Um, you really can't go wrong with all of these blocks together. So... Now that we know, yep, it works, we can begin kind of figuring out what to build with it. So, like I said, I don't really want to do a big barn or anything. Um, I did a pretty, like, a decent sized one in my fall long play, and I would like to go even smaller than that. What I'm kind of picturing is more so, like, a house with an animal pen attached to it. As if somebody who lives there just takes care of cows, and that's it. So not even like a whole farmland barn setup, just a simple little house where somebody takes care of these little guys and it's as simple as that. So with that, I'm kind of picturing, uh, let me throw my stone cutter down really quickly, but I'm kind of picturing what if we did cobbled deep slate on the bottom floor so we could build it maybe, let's see, maybe here, one, two, three, four, five. That is a little bit too close to the edge there. Let's bring it up a block as well. This is like very picky, but... One, two, three, four, five. So, if we have a house right here, 
that allows us to still have some wheat field kind of beside it. That's what I just want to be like very aware of. Um, it's just placement where we have enough room to place like a substantial wheat field for the space, you know? I'd go even maybe one more block. One, two, three, four, five. I feel like that's good. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I would go probably if we're going to do a small build, the smallest I would go is five by seven. That's actually very small. So um, any more than that, you kind of run into a little bit of a space issue. Honestly, I know I'm being super picky here, but I would even pull this maybe two blocks over. I like where it's placed in terms of like right here, but I would maybe go like one, two. Like that. Get rid of these guys. And then place these across. Get rid of this. And then we'll recount just to make sure I did it right. But we got one, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, perfect. That's a little bit more breathing room right here. Um, so it's not directly to the edge. We can get some nice wheat field around it. Probably gonna have to move this after all because if anything, I think the cow pen would probably go on this side. But other than that, I think that's a pretty good placement for this build. I think that's a good spot. So we've got that done. Now we just got to figure out. No, oh, get out of there, buddy. It's not your house. You're going to live next to it. Well, technically, maybe it, like you're a resident of that house. So sorry, I was wrong. My apologies. OK, so we want to incorporate the granite. I'm thinking because we have the deep slate that we got to incorporate into here as well. What I'm picturing is kind of doing a deep slate trim, of course, just to kind of match. Basically, what we have is we have a trim on the bottom, and I think I'd like a trim for the roof just so you kind of have blocks sandwiched in between deep slate. That makes the most sense. And then I think in between that, that's where we kind of either put like the granite, the spruce or the oak. So I'm kind of thinking for the bottom floor, we should probably do granite because it is like kind of the, the darker color tone. So it has more visual weight to it and it should probably sit on the bottom. And then from there, we build up with either the oak or the spruce on the top floor. Kind of picturing that. Okay, let's build this up. Where's your buddy? Huh? Is he still on this island? Oh, he's just like wandering very far. It was like, hey, sorry, dude. I just like saw some snacks in there. Had to get some. Then I was like staring at a fish for a bit. And just like, you know, I'm just vibing. They seem to love it here. And it's not that they're not going to love it once they're stuck in this pen. No, 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 no. They're gonna, they're gonna completely vibe. Maybe we'll go up by, so that's four technically with the trim that we've got. One, two, three, four. Yeah. We'll go up by four for this wall. Perfect. And we should probably torch this just in case. Good to go. And oh, I was gonna water bucket clutch, but I can't. Can I jump into that piece of water there? Oh, ow, oh, my feet. Oh my gosh, that hurt so bad. And also I broke that. I broke the crops, which we're probably gonna have to move anyway. It was all but a waste. All right, well, look at that. We got a rectangle. Looking amazing. So the next thing that we should probably do is get a second floor. Now I'm kind of thinking, um, there's our oak. There's our spruce. I need to get some dirt to scaffold with really quickly. No. 
Where's the dirt? There it is. Perfect. So my thought is, let's test out oak spruce. Let's maybe lay a little bit more down so we can get a better visual sense, actually, because that's not a lot. Ooh, okay. I mean, it's really hard to vision because it's just such a flat wall and it's lacking detail. But, mm, hold on, let me, there we go. I'm looking at it so you can't see the oak. I mean, granite and spruce just go so well together. It looks like Neapolitan ice cream, actually. Delicious. But you know what? I think the oak just kind of pops more. You know what I mean? Let me, let me do this one more time. Spruce. It looks great, don't get me wrong. But then there's the oak. Boom. And then picture the final layer on top, which is going to be the sandwich that we're doing with the deep slate. I think it'll just pop more. Plus, we can always incorporate spruce into the roof. Um, and I think that will be a good way to get the spruce in there. Kind of thinking the oak. I think that's the vibe. So let's get a mixture of oak logs as well as planks. And I'm only going up three high for this one. I kind of figured that we want this build to be a little bit shorter. Um, especially because realistically, I mean, it's pretty much the same build as this one, except we're not going to have this extension right here. And I think this one, oh wait, it's the opposite effect. <gasps> this one goes one, two, three high on the bottom and then one, two, three, four on, on top. Yet, they already look a little bit different, don't they, Drift? Don't they? It's kind of wild what you can do with, like, a basic rectangle in this game. How many ways you can, like, make it so different from one another, because we literally have the same footprint. Yet, somehow, we've managed to make this look completely different. It's so cool. All right, let's strip all of this. Can I reach? Kind of. Amazing. Is there a spot I can jump off of into the water? I don't think so. I think I'm just like too far. Whoa! I was so close. Ow. Roger, you didn't see that. That was so embarrassing. Gonna have to eat because of that now. All right. We got ourselves a fancy looking box. Wow, this looks incredible. <laughs> I hope you can all kind of see the vision of uh, where it's going, though. So I don't think we really need that oak anymore. Um, now what we need is some deep slate tiles, which is great. Uh, I'm going to make a couple more stairs. And we're good to go with this as well. Okay. Okay. So, we also have to consider that since this one's the sh same shape, we should probably switch up the roof a little bit. 
So what I'm thinking is we start off with some stairs on the bottom, right? And then we move into slabs. So we get a softer curve in the roof and then it's going to be a little bit more shallow and just hang lower. I'm just going to finish. Um, I'm going to add like another slab at the top just to make this a full block, though. So it'll still have like a little bit of height. But we'll kind of compare the two next to each other afterwards. So because we did this curved roof. You can see how much lower it sits, right? Compared to this one, same shape. They already look very different from one another, you know? And also you have to consider the fact that like we don't have beams on this one. We have like stone on the bottom instead of the top. So they're very much just like reversed, which is very interesting. It's funny because it's like I unintentionally did that in a way. That wasn't even a conscious choice. It all just kind of like worked out in the end, you know? Ah! Get out of here. All right, perfect. So that's done. I really need to get my water bucket. I'm going to try to jump into this one more time. Ow. Ow, that really hurt. Ow. I need to stop doing that. Okay. So that's done. We've got ourselves just a fancy box right now. That's all we've got. Now, with this, I think the next step before we like decorate this thing, these cows are kind of walking everywhere. I think it would probably be wise just to like get rid of this, put a pen in, and then we don't have to worry about them running around. I'm going to grab my water again and fill in this spot anyway. So this is perfect. Except I am going to start planting all this stuff down here. Perfect. All right, with that done, for the pen, I'm going to keep it really simple, I think. Uh, do we have any spruce stairs and stuff? I feel like we do in our house. Let's go take a quick look. Six, some gates, all this stuff I'm going to take as well. I'm going to drop some of this stuff off because we don't need it just yet. I think we're good to go. I need to sleep though. I think my bed's over there. Oh, hello. I'm a little bit nervous because not all of this island has uh, torches yet. So we got to be a bit careful. So what we're going to do is all of this stuff should eventually just go back to normal. I'm going to leave it for now. I am going to make a little pen on the side here. Hmm. I wonder if... Hold on a second. I'm going to put a trim up first because we could probably attach a lean-to to this to provide a little bit of shade for the cows. What if we did... Slabbies and trapdoors. Mm -hmm. 
Except on this side, if we're doing a lean two, it's gonna have to be all slabs. I have to make more in a second though. Oh, I don't even have a crafting table over here. I think I have one back at the house. I don't want to make like a billion crafting tables like I always do. <laughs> and perfect. Okay. Crafting table acquired. Now, we just have to make some more slabs. We could finish this lean to, and then we could also work on the roof, which I think I'm gonna throw the spruce in the middle. Let's grab a couple more slabs. And while we're at it, I'm gonna make a couple of, actually, let's just make all of these slabs. Stairs. I think we're good to go. Oops. Let's break that. Get this here. Pop another one there. And across, we will just do some trapdoors. Got to put some supports. Like that. And then I just need to make a couple more fencing just to make an actual pen for the cows. And then we can pretty much get them in there. Uh, let's do some more fencing. I think I'm just going to do classic fence for this. Nothing too fancy. And literally just... Probably do this all the way around. Can I just push this guy in here? Come on. There we go. I mean, you might escape. You still have a chance. Honestly, this is just, this is perfect. I think this is all we need, really. So, we're going to have to find the last cow very quickly. But what I'm going to do in the meantime is I'm going to get this gate and... I'm going to pop out an entrance. Let's do an entryway here. Window here. And then I guess an entryway into this please. No, no, no. Oh, that was so close. Yeah, you tried to escape. You tried and you couldn't. Okay, perfect. So I have access into the pen. I'll probably put some carpet there anyway, but it's nice to have an actual entry point just even for the aesthetic of the build, even if we don't really end up using it want it to be like realistic in a sense all right buddy come on over here we're gonna get you to a new spot i know you like it over there but there's a nice little home that's waiting for you there we go and I'm going to need a platform for myself. Oops. Yes, I still have the wheat. Oh. Uh-oh, my bad. My bad. Come here. Come on. This guy's waiting too. There we go. All right, let's get you two fed. Good to go. And look at that. We've already got baby cow. Yay. Okay, perfect. So that's all good. We don't have to worry about the cows. Now we can keep breeding them as well. Super easy. Um, And I'm just going to continue working on the roof and stuff. So I don't think we really need the granite in this moment. And I don't think we need this wheat right now. Probably just going to pillar up and just keep working on this. Oh, you know what we do need? Just a little bit more oak for... The little middle pieces here, we gotta add a few. So that's all fine as well. And I also had kind of a, a little bit of an idea for something too. Let's get some oak stairs. And then we'll pillar up again. Where's a good spot? Ouch. 
This is not ideal. Here we go. There we go. Okay, perfect. <laughs> that was a struggle. Pop that there. Pop that there. And we'll just fill in this roof really quickly. So what I'm thinking is probably just some good old classic spruce. So we've got a slab here. But I was kind of thinking about making this a little bit more rugged. And a way that we can do that is add like pieces of stairs, full pieces of blocks, something like that, just to make it look very like patchy. So if we just kind of, whoops. Could add the stair on top there. That works. Something like that would be nice. And then we'll do the same over here. Just a couple pieces here and there. And finally, We'll finish off the roof. And I could probably put some deep slate tiles here too, just to put a trim on top. I don't know if it needs it, but let's see. You know what, I like it with the trim. But as you can see, this looks like a lot more like clunky and messy and haphazardly built. It looks, it makes it look a little bit older. And like it's been patched up over the years. So I like that small detail. Um, definitely going to keep that. We'll add a chimney as well probably, but I'm not going to worry about that for now. In the meantime, I was kind of thinking. I could do like small little windows here. Hold on a second. Just like, just little guys, you know? If we do something like this. And then this could create small little windows like this. It looks pretty neat, actually. So, one, two, three, four. Yeah, that looks really cool. I love it. It's just like a small little decorative window. I mean, if we even have this as a functional space, you can look out it and it's it's cool. I love little little windows like that. It looks very like medieval. All right, let's make a couple more stairs so we can do that for the other side. And we're getting there with this build. Still got to pop out some windows there too actually. I'm going to do that now cuz I'm running low on oak and that will help me get a bit more. There we go. So we need eight. Mm. All right, let's pop these out again. Put it the side, yep. So this one gets put up this way on the outside. And on the inside, boom. Oops. Boom, 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 and boom. Perfect. I'm going to sleep really quickly. Roger, how are you doing today, bud? You're pretty quiet, huh? You're a little sad now that there's some cows on the island? Dude. 
They could never take your place. Never. Never. Let's let's boat you over to the docks really quickly. Because I know it's your favorite spot. You know? I'm just going to leave you right here, buddy. There you go. Bye. It's okay. We all get a little jealous sometimes, Roger. It's natural. All right, let's finish this up by putting in some windows here. We'll get that little like curve on the window. And then I think for the structure, obviously other than like the chimney, this is like pretty much mostly done. We just need to detail now. So I'm thinking maybe we should just start detailing with uh, small little things. We could get like uh, window shutters, stuff like that. I'm going to put away some of this stuff that we don't need, though. Maybe actually I'm going to take this. Some oak trap doors. Spruce would be good for the um, the flooring, I think. It's going to go classic spruce. I'm going to get a piece of cobble in there. Change all of this over to sprucies. Alrighty. And then let's also get some windows in here. I think for these, we should probably swap them out to upside down stairs just for a little bit more shape as well. Probably do with a little bit more. Boop and boop. Nice. Alright, this is looking good so far. We also do need a spruce door. So I'm going to make one really quickly. Actually, I still need the scaffolding. I just have a lot of like, random stuff in this inventory. I don't think we really need the granite anymore, though. So let's get ourselves a door. And then we got lots of spruce fencing, which is good. We can use that for some decoration. Um, I'm going to pull one of these back. So I can make like a light post. Pop the door in here. And then... Let's get ourselves some window coverings. I'm just going to use a uh, spruce fencing. I wonder if it would look good if we did oak trap doors on the side, though. Let's see. I want to do one that's, like, swinging open. And then one that's, like, wide open. Yeah, I think that's good. I think it just needs, like... Something below, though, like this, just to ground it. Oops, a little bit more. Well, since we're down here, just going to pop in a wall here so we could put like a lantern or something. And then, hmm, this wall, I mean, to add a little bit more like interest to this shape, I feel as though maybe what we should do is we should add like another piece right here. I'm kind of thinking, I don't know what these things are called. They're kind of like galley windows, I guess. If anybody knows what the right term is for this, let me know. But basically it's gonna be like a little section here that juts out. I think something like that would be good. And then maybe across the top, what we can do is... I 
feel like that might be too much. Let's try spruce trap doors for that. Maybe the trick is here instead of having like the trap doors on the sides. We attach it like that. I think this might look a little bit better. I was just trying to grab those blocks. That is why I took that little fall. I think that's a little better. Just got to strip this. And then pop out a spot for like a window. Kind of thinking maybe putting um, the actual window like covering right there and we could put like a planter or something right there. Or maybe the other way around, honestly. Because then we can have a cute little planter spot on the inside of the build instead. That'd be kind of cute. Oops. I am just floating. Yeah, I think that's cute. Nice. Contemplating switching these two shutters or maybe just leaving both of them open actually you know that's pretty nice i think yeah cool also i hate to do it i'm gonna take down this tree really quickly probably replant it later i just want to see what it looks like with like full sun hitting it and I think it's kind of casting a shadow right now. So I'll just, I'll bring back all of the trees and stuff afterwards. Same with this guy, actually. Okay, cool. This is honestly really starting to come together. I'm very happy with it. It's a very small, simple little build, but I think it's exactly like what's needed for this area of the base, honestly. It still looks kind of goofy just because there's nothing around it yet. I still think it'll look a lot better once we get everything else in. But it's starting to look really cool. All right, so most of that's done. I think what we're gonna have to do next is probably consider getting a couple more details. Like what if we did, boom, 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 boom. And then just some like supports on the sides along the walls, you know? Kind of just trying to make this thing look a little bit rugged. And I find adding little bits like that can really, uh, really transform the build. I'm also kind of wondering, what would it look like? Just want to know. What would it look like if we use stairs on the corner instead? Would it give like a little bit more? Ooh. Hmm. It kind of balances it uh, like a little bit more. Oh, I think I like that. Okay. Okay. Definitely going to keep that. Just adds like a little bit more weight and balance to it, especially because this piece of the build is a little bit higher than this one. So kind of half covering it up a little bit adds a little bit more balance between the two components. I think that's really nice, actually. Cool. Uh, I also think it would probably be a good idea just to get like a faux path right here. I should probably get like a true gate right there as well. I'm scared to do it, though. Before I do that, I'm going to make another axe. It's such a pain because the cows like immediately try to leave. They're like, oh, what's this? Okay, they're not looking. Hey, they didn't mind at all. They were like, huh? Classic, honestly me. Cool. 
it actually suddenly looks like kind of sad without the trees. It's so funny what a difference it makes. But um, once we once I'm done like the build and stuff, I'll bring it all back. So I think that's looking good. Pretty much all we have to do is add in some like lanterns, leaves. Oh, the chimney. What kind of chimney should I do? I feel like I should go like moody, rugged chimney, you know? Just gonna take a look. Oh yeah, I can free cam. I completely forgot. Yeah, something similar to this would be nice. Perfect. Do I have any more food? Oh yeah, I only have like one salmon. Well, I'll eat it because I'm starting to run low. So I'm just gonna see what's in these chests. Uh... Because I want to grab some coarse dirt while we're at it. I do have some uh, junk chests. Don't judge me, please. Please don't judge me. I need to make proper storage. Definitely. We're uh, starting to run out of space here. It's kind of funny how quickly some things build up over time. I'm going to burn some more iron, too, because we don't have that much left. And let's grab some leaves, of course. That's pretty much it. Oh, wait. Do I have tough? That's what I was also looking for. Because I want to put that on the chimney next to the deep slate. I really did like that uh, chimney that we did for the last build. So I think it would be perfect. Cool. I have so much in my inventory. Ah, so much stuff. All right, let's start popping in some leaves too, actually. Okay, I'm gonna build a proper staircase going up as well. We're probably gonna need access up and down this build a couple times, so might as well. What if we pop in some leaves here? I don't want to go too overboard, but also this build is supposed to be like a little bit more like older and rugged looking. So I would like to add some um, spots where it looks more overgrown for sure. Now I'm thinking, oh, there is a gap there. I'm thinking chimney on this side. So one thing I do consider when um, when building is honestly, I mean, this kind of works out for the design of a build too because it's all about balance and stuff so one thing i do consider is like how will this look in the thumbnail um i do take that into consideration because of course like i love creating really nice thumbnails but i think if you have that in mind it also kind of makes you not a better builder in some ways but it does make you look at things a little bit more differently like what is the composition of this build where, where does it need balance so i think putting it into perspective of like how does it look in a thumbnail or how, thumbnail or how does it look in an image is actually like a good thing it sounds kind of weird it's not that like i'm building a build for the sole purpose of a thumbnail it's more so like i think the better way to describe it is how does it look in terms of visual balance if you if you can't tell my major was photography so that's kind of like why i have that in my mind so i think we could go any way with this to be honest i think it looks I think it actually looks very good from like both sides. It's just a matter of preference for this build. I mean, like it's kind of like with this build. Obviously, there's a back end to it, but also there is like a front end that has like a very distinct like you can tell where this build kind of shines, right? Like it looks very good from this angle. Not that it looks bad from other angles, but like specifically this angle holds most of like the visual weight. You've got like the kind of like triangular cross section here. You've got the docks like kind of coming out from that. There's like a lot of triangular shape happening here. Sorry if this is like <laughs> just a lot, but I find it kind of fascinating just because it 
I don't know. I, I've just always like been fascinated by that, especially I think a lot of um, a lot of it has to do with the what I studied in school and stuff. Same with this build, too. I mean, this build. I think it carries most of its visual weight like. From this side, right, because you have the build here. But yeah, I think with a build like this, you could kind of go either way. Um, I think it could be technically like quote unquote photographed either way. It looks good from both sides. So I would say maybe, maybe the chimney on this side though. I feel like that might look kind of cool. I need the uh, deep slate though. Sometimes I go on these little, uh, I don't even think they're tangents. Just like kind of letting you know, all know what goes on in my brain when I build. Because it's not just like, I don't know. I think I apply a lot of like what I've learned in the past into building as well. And I just like to give you all kind of like insight on like what goes on in my brain and how I kind of uh, come up with these like visual solutions, if you will. What I find interesting is like, I'm sure that there's other, like people come up with the same visual solutions as I, as I do, but like their reasoning might be slightly different if that makes sense. All right, let's get this chimney up. <laughs> oh, geez. Okay. I'm thinking, can I get a, oops. You know what, this kind of works out kind of works out in my favor let's get that let's like maybe pull this all the way down boom and boom oh i didn't put the tough on there i was like huh this looks weird there we go tough is there looking tough as always and let's just cover this up with some spruce trapdoors Boom. All right. One thing I do have to consider, though, is that I have a lot of chimneys going on at this base currently. So I can't keep spamming them forever. Eventually, I think I would actually like to, like, extinguish some of them because there's a lot. All three builds currently have them. Although it looks all right right now, maybe also when things are spread out, it'll look um a little bit different. But we can always extinguish some in favor for another one, you know? Whoops. Mm. Let's pop this out. Pop maybe these guys out. Something like that. Yeah, I think that's looking good. Don't want to overdo it with the leaves, but also we do want it to look a little bit overgrown at the same time, right? So I think that's good. I'm going to leave this here just in case we need it again. Yeah, very nice. All right, I think we can like pop in some uh, leaves. Oh, yeah, I forgot the coarse dirt. Then we're just going to have to start really kind of like building up a field around this thing too. I think that's what's going to end up taking the most time. And before I forget, are these cows grown up now? Oh my gosh, they are. Perfect. After all, that's what we are set out to do today. And also harvest the sugar cane. It does grow! What the? Huh? That's wild. Cool. Well, now we can have, like, double layers. Look at that. We'll get rid of this eventually, but right now I just want to plant as much as I can because we're going to need tons and tons of paper. So cool. All right, let's pop that in there and let's go get ourselves some coarse dirt.
is not in here. That is a fishing hut. My course dirt is likely over here. We might have to go collect some more. The nice thing is we don't have to go collect like a bunch of gravel because we're right by that taiga forest. So we can just literally grab coarse dirt. I hear a wandering trader. I thought I heard a villager. Huh. Hmm. Hmm. Not my problem. All right, I'm going to start at least lining this path. Oh, yeah, we need lanterns, too. So many things. Such little time. I mean, we have all the time. I keep saying that, but, like, we literally have all the time to do this. Shift this next to the shovel so it's a bit easier to grab. And... Let's make a new one. We're gonna need some more coal too, so maybe while we're um, out grabbing some coarse dirt we can pop into a cave really quickly and grab some coal. Sprinkle in a little bit of that texture, you know? Just a little bit of texture. Cool. I think that's good for now. And then the next thing that we're probably going to have to focus on is probably starting to get some water uh, within these areas. So we can till all of this land and plant all of our crops. I figure we could probably go like kind of wrap the field around like this way. Um... Just because I want to get a tree line within the back as well. So that's definitely something that we need to consider. Mm, maybe one right here. I never like know how much the water spreads for the, the tilt land. I have no idea. I always just kind of try to make an educated guess. I think it's probably like eight squares or something around, but visually, not a clue. Perfect. I think the thing with wheat is like the more... The more there is within a patch, the faster it grows, possibly. Is that a thing? I don't know why, but I believe it is. Unless I'm completely wrong. Okay, we don't have any more seeds. We can make a few lanterns, actually. Because we still got a bunch of torches. So I'm going to pop one here whoa what was that huh honestly do we need any more i feel like just one good old lantern is good to go don't want to overdo it you know I think if anything on top there instead of a light source probably just like a flower pot or something just on one of the sills but other than that i think i'm i'm pretty happy with that so i think i might as well replant some of these spruce saplings 
maybe one here, here. I feel like I went too far with this too, actually. It's gonna like trample this quickly. Come on. This is so awkward. Cause I'm kind of thinking maybe a tree like right here would be nice too. Come on. Anytime I like step on these fields accidentally, they shatter into a billion pieces and now that I'm intentionally trying to break them, they're like, huh? I'm perfectly fine. Quit playing games, huh? All right. Should we bone meal those? I know the bone meal is precious, but we also actually have quite a bit from the caves. Unless I did something with it. Did I use it all? No way. No way. Huh? Oh my gosh. I used all that bone meal? Huh. Interesting. I bet you any money. It's probably in a chest somewhere. Let's be real. Yeah, I bet you I'm gonna find that in like the most random spot. Just gonna just gonna check these out for a second, see if we can find it anywhere. Unless I did use it. Oh, there it is! I was like, there's no way I've used it all. No way. Okay, perfect. We found all of these. So what I'm gonna do next is bone meal just a couple of these guys. Come on, don't take too much of my bone meal. Oh no. Hey, what about this one? I don't know if this one's gonna grow. It might be a little bit too close to other ones. That's okay though. We got these ones. I would love to get um, a couple trees here as well. I think I will uh, eventually. But for now, I think we need a couple of saplings around here too. I really wanna make this area look a little bit more forested again. Cause I think that was like, the strong point of this side of the island. Also, my cat is right beside me right now, so <laughs> I'm just letting her walk around. If you hear the mic shuffling, um, that's Ruth. You, you all can say hi to Ruth if you want. I'll let her know that you said hi. Just say hi in the comments. Hi, Ruth. And uh, she'll she'll say hi back. There we go. All right, yeah, I think. Once we get uh, a couple more of these trees in, it's going to look very nice. The whole, like this, as soon as this is surrounded by trees, it's going to look more rustic. That's the thing. Right now, it kind of just looks like it's in a plain, flat world. It, it, it definitely needs something around it. So that's A-OK, -okay, though. Can I break this now? Have I done everything up here? I think I have. I added all the leaves, the chimney. Pretty much done with all of this. I would say, for the most part, the build is pretty much done. Now all I really have to do is concentrate on the outer part with all of the trees. And of course, I do want to also decorate the inside. I want to keep this really simple, probably. Um, we'll just add another floor and probably put a bunch of storage in here. I'd like to put in some storage for seeds, the leather, all of that stuff. So while we're waiting for everything to grow, maybe we can do that. Uh, let's grab some of this. We got 16 barrels. Perfect. We got a couple chests. Good to go. Cute. So let's actually get a floor in first on the top floor. How am I going to get up there, though? Probably a ladder, I would say. 
This is just like a rustic little farmhouse. A ladder right here. Actually, not there. The I always find having ladders right beside the entrance can be such a pain in the butt because you automatically start climbing it. <laughs> so we'll do that. And as for this spot, we'll just keep it like super simple. Boom, boom, boom. Literally just some storage because I think that's all we really need. Uh, actually, hear me out. Chest like that and then we can get a cute little shelf here and something right here. Perfect. All right, cool. So that's good. I'm also wondering if we can, we might as well just put a bed in here. I think that's my goal with all of the wool that we're collecting. Just put a bed wherever we can, because then we never have to worry about like, oh, is there a bed on this side of the island? Of course there is. All right, let's go get that wool. And see, I'm going to have to run back to the other bed because I took it. All right, we've got our wool. Let's run over to this bed really quickly so mobs don't spawn. And then we will make ourselves a fresh new bed for this area. I think this time I'm going to go with a yellow bed. There we go. Perfect. Oh, I forgot. I don't even have <laughs> I don't even have ladders yet. Should probably do that. I might have some in the inventory over here. I'm trying my best to use stuff that we have previously made. However, it's just a little tricky because the storage is such a mess right now. In the last uh long play world that we did, we actually did end up making some storage areas and stuff within the base. I think maybe that would probably be a good bet. Maybe for the next episode too, especially because I was kind of thinking uh, it might take a little while to gather up some wheat uh, for the cows and then the leather and then the sugar cane. So the enchanting could technically wait. Okay, I think that's good. I still kind of am vibing with the idea of having torches as lighting sources. Um, I would ideally love to have them on lanterns or not on lantern lanterns on the uh, item frames as well. But that costs leather. And right now we kind of need that for other things. So I'm going to hold off on that idea for now. They'll just kind of like stay on the wall. And let's feed the cows quickly while we're at it. There we go. And in this spot, basically what we could do is where did I put that bed? Did I put it away? What's going on? What is going on? I did. I did put it away indeed. That's okay though. We'll go up here. We'll get like a cozy little sleeping space. Look at these little windows too. They actually look super cute up here. I'm I'm into it. I dig it. Okay, let's get a little bed in this corner. And then maybe what we could do is a little bed side. Uh, barrels. We've got lots. Amazing. And go across with barrels. That's too much. It's like too thick with both of those there. I think we could get away with that though. Can't put anything on the bedside now, but we could put a little lantern there. And maybe in this spot, I would love to get an armor stand around here. I just don't know if we have this smooth stone and sticks. The problem is we don't have any armor to put on it though. That's the only thing. And as for this, I'm just going to kind of fill in rough little beams in certain spots. 
Kind of like what we did with the other, uh, the other build, the lighthouse. Perfect. And I guess maybe just a little storage chest in the corner here. I don't really want to block these windows or anything. If anything, I want to put just like potted plants or something there. Glowberries would also be a nice uh, lighting source if we're trying to do something a little bit more rustic looking. I think we've got quite a few glowberries as well. And then basically we could just fill that area with like item frames and stuff. And as for here, there's really not that much room for us to do anything. We could like fit in a crafting table or something. Maybe what I could do to utilize this space a little bit better is flip this. So we could get like a log here. We can kind of make this a corner area instead. Just to give ourselves a little bit more space for shelving and stuff. Do that. And then... We could have like our storage chest here. One here. And then some pots for just decorations, I think. Yeah, there's not much we can do with this space. It's very, very tiny, but also really all we're going to be putting in it is seeds, leather, all of that stuff. Farmland things, pretty much. So that's okay. Just going to move this tree over to the back, I think. I think we just need some more trees, like, framing this area. I'm going to try to fill the gaps as best as I can. Nice, this is looking really cute. So we do have a lot of wool left over, which is good because now what we can do is we can make a couple of picture frames or sorry, paintings. I keep saying picture frames. That's like the thing today. Also crafting table. I believe this one's extra, so we could probably put this in here as well. Maybe, maybe right here. There we go. Adds a little bit more spice to this area too, you know? Oh, did not mean for that. Let's do a little, just a little one here. Actually, you know what? No paintings on the bottom. I hate to say it because these paintings aren't even fancy, but I think the paintings are even a little bit too fancy <laughs> for that build. It's very rugged down there. But of course, uh, to add a little bit of character to the bedroom, I think some paintings belong in here, you know? Perfect. Let's get some of this away. Grab some oak leaves. We have a couple flower pots that we could use. So that's good. I think I'd still like one up there. Right there. Got to fill that in after. Then we can have one here. And maybe one in this corner. Nice. Let's see what we have in terms of flowers and all of that stuff that we can fill the pots with. Mm, mushrooms. God. Oh, we have an item frame. Let's go. It's already made, so I don't feel bad about that, you know? All right, fern. That's kind of like an obvious choice. 
I think something like a birch sapling or spruce sapling would be nice as well. And then I don't really see anything else. Oak is always a nice one too, but I think we only have a couple pots, right? I would ideally like to have like a dead bush with some oak leaves on top to act as like a planter, but I don't think we have any dead bushes. If we go into that taiga, I'm sure there will be lots, but as for now, we don't have any. Let's scaffold up and put the spruce sapling up here. And as for the rest, I'm gonna say oak sapling can go here and a fern for upstairs for now. Very nice, very simple. Um, another thing we could do is add a little bit of carpet just to make this spot a little bit cozier for us. And maybe at the end of the bed, oops, just a little sign, just to block it off a little bit. But I think that's looking super cute. Nice. All right, pretty much all we have left to do now is get this field filled in. This might take a little bit of time, honestly. Um, I think there's going to be a lot of waiting on my part, just letting stuff grow and then replanting it. Of course, I will film it all, but I might kind of do that thing where for some parts where I'm mining like a ton of stuff, I'm putting a little bit of a cut in just because it's a lot of dead space. So I think while I'm doing that, um, I'll just do like a little montage style thing. So that'll still give you all the chance to see the progress being made without having to show me pretty much having to wait for all the crops to grow and stuff. I think while I'm waiting for stuff to grow, I'm going to carve out a path leading to this farm. So pretty much what I'm doing with this is I'm just taking out all of the stone in this area because I think a dirt path running through it would look kind of cool. Nah, that's pretty cool. I like that. Of course, there's going to be lots of terraforming we need to do eventually around here. I think we'll save that for when I do a bigger build, but I think that looks pretty cool, actually. I might do that more often in my worlds. All right, let's harvest up some of this wheat. And let's get these seeds replanted. I feel like while I'm waiting, this would also be a good time to start fishing as well, because we are starting to run low on food. So I'm just going to hang out. So while I'm fishing and hanging out here, I just want to say another thank you to everybody who's watching this series. I'm having so much fun with it. It's super relaxing and I've just been having a great time and I appreciate you all uh, for the support and just for hanging out with me. I hope these videos are as relaxing for you all to watch as they are for me to make. All right, let's pop these in the smokers to get them cooked. Oh, I've got no wood in here. My bad. Toss these things aside. And I'm going to check up on all of the wheat. Except I don't think it's grown a lot. Okay, we're getting there. We're getting there. Slow but steady. Also, there's a gap in trees right here. I'm wondering if I should move this one over a bit. Uh, it'll kind of be in line with one of these, but I think that's okay. If I can get it to grow there, that would be nice because it would kind of complete the tree line. You can already see the difference the trees have made, actually. Mm, you know what? I don't know if it needs to be there. I kind of like that gap. I'm going to leave it. I'll eventually fill this in with trees as well, but for the purpose of this long play, just so we can actually see the build and stuff, I'm gonna leave it for now. And we can't forget to keep feeding the cows because that's the most important part after all. That's why we made this. 
So I've got pretty much all of the seeds planted here. I was able to harvest some as well. Now I think what I'm gonna do is add just a couple more spots of wheat field to this side, as well as this side over here, just, just a small little patch. And then I think we're pretty much good to go with this. So I think I'm gonna expand this out to about here. Something like that. And maybe up to here as well. Uh, water bucket. Let's see what it would look like if we put one here. I think it could look kind of cool. Oh, why can I not till this land? Oh, because I am holding a pickaxe. <laughs> what was I trying to do there? That's so funny. I also think I'm going to bring back just a little bit more wheat field here. And I think that will kind of tie this space together a little bit more. There we go. So we don't have that many seeds right now. We're going to have to harvest a little bit more, but at least we have this laid out. I think pulling the wheat field up into this area was a good move. We'll definitely take a look at it in free cam afterwards, but so far it seems, seems like a good decision. All right, so we've got all of that on this side. And as for this side, I think I want to go just rather small. I'm going to get rid of some of the sugar cane now. I've actually managed to gather quite a bit of this too. I'm going to leave some of it just because we're going to need it for our future build. But I don't want it to get in the way of this area because I want it to be decorated. It's pretty wild what a difference a wheat field could make to, like, your existing area. When in doubt, add a couple crops, honestly. Just adds that, like, really nice pop of color. And seeds I do not have at the moment. That's okay, though. I think a small patch just like this is fine. I don't want to go overboard. I just want to frame up the house a little bit. And we have approximately one seed to begin growing over here. <laughs> Amazing. And of course, let's not forget, give the cows a little treat. And if I can, I'm going to go over here to try and collect that XP. Because that's also very important for enchanting as well. All right. I think that's all good. So, I mean... I'm gonna I'm gonna wait here while everything grows. I don't think it'll be too much longer because I noticed that when like the bigger your wheat field is, I swear, the more this stuff grows. Like it grows a lot quicker. Somebody correct me if I'm wrong, but it feels it feels to be that way. So I'm gonna wait for all of this to grow and I will see you all in a moment. Alright, so the build is pretty much all done. All of the fields have grown in. I was waiting here for quite some time. Uh, some of the trees grew in as well. And I think that this looks really nice, although I might have to tear some of these down depending on how I make my thumbnail today. Because if I'm going from this angle, there's some trees in the way. So I might have to chop them down, then replant them later. But that's okay. Let's take a quick little look in our free cam. And this is what it looks like at the overhead view. I think it's really cute. I think it suits the space very well. So you can kind of see it, how it blends into the island. We've got our nice little path leading up to it, which is going to look really nice once it's terraformed as well. And it just leads into a cute little tiny farmland area. 
honestly, it's such a small build and a small little area, but I think it's perfect for this island. I always think it's worth having small builds like this within an area because it just kind of helps bring this place to life. I feel like this build kind of helps illustrate a little bit of a story on this island. So yeah, I think it's looking really good. Also, you can kind of see what I mentioned before with all of the chimneys. <laughs> it's already starting to get to that point where like maybe there's a little bit too many on the island. Eventually, I'm going to have to put some of them out. I think it's OK right now because it's only three. But let's say I do a build next week and we add another chimney. It, this place is just going to be up in flames. So I think um, eventually I'd like to extinguish some of them as well, just so there's a little bit more balance on the island. And I mean, it kind of makes sense um having a chimney it's not always being used so i think it's okay to kind of just have some that are more aesthetic rather than having the smoke come out of them as well so yeah i think this is looking really cute it adds a little bit of spice to the edge of this island and i'm super happy with it the only thing i was thinking the last thing i wanted to do hold on let me grab it oh my gosh okay yes we have some perfect I literally just wanted to add a couple of fences to the pathing here. I haven't really added much to this island yet, but I think this is the perfect spot. Just a couple of leaves here and there. And I think that's perfect. Just to kind of help frame up this area a little bit more too. And it'll be nice once we get a build kind of tucked away in this forested area. We could put a little path in eventually and all that stuff. So just a quick little run through of the build. I mean, it's really simple. It's super small, but it has a lot of function and purpose for us, which is nice. I mean, we are going to need a ton of leather in the next coming days when we build our enchanting setup. So I'm so happy I ended up building this. I was actually going to go with the enchanting area first, and then I was like, I feel as though we might need some materials for that. And if we don't kind of gather up leather and stuff, we could be in big trouble. It's just going to take 10 times longer. So this is actually going to save us time in the long run for our next build while getting a build out of it. So of course, this is pretty much what we ended up with. We have a cute little spot with a bed so we can actually sleep here, which is great. We have at least three beds now on this island. So we always have a place to sleep, which is very nice. I need to stop bringing the beds around with me then, if that's the case. And then from here, we just have some storage. Um, I can start putting the wheat away, the seeds, all of that stuff. We've got access into the cow pen if we need it. And that's pretty much it. I'm super happy with it. With that, I think that's going to be it for today's episode. Um, we accomplished so much with such a small little build, and I think it also added a lot of character to this island. Let me know how you liked the build. And with that, I will see you all in the next episode.